time to let it go into the unknown. I don't have to listen to that song anymore and everything's got to go. Just a friendly reminder, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hey guys, what's up and welcome to my channel. My name's Chris. Today we're going to test out the Warrior cordless power cutter. This has got an internal battery, it's rechargeable, and it says it'll cut through anything. Well, it does have an asterisk on there. As you can see, it says up to a quarter inch thick, depending on the capacity for plastic, leather, carpet, cloth, cardboard, paper, and more. Well, we got some things here that we're going to test out today. We got our cardboard. We got some plastic vinyl mat. We got a little scrub book. We got a slap bracelet, a nail file, an eighth of an inch. We got folders. We got your Amazon Prime packaging, a sandal, your good old plastic clamshells. We got a Harbor Freight microcloth. We got some leather. Yeah, it might be pleather. We're going to try to get through that. We got some cardboard, another clamshell, three ring binder. So let's get to testing the Harbor Freight Warrior cordless power cutter and see how this thing works. Ah, it even includes an extra blade. So here you can see we have some roofing underlayment. Now this is really thin, cuts really easy through that. So the underlayment cuts really easy. We're going to go ahead and fold this over one time, two times, three times. And we'll see if we can cut right on the line there. Now this will cut up to quarter inch thick material. It really has no issues when it comes to cutting through roofing underlayment. You know what? This one will be fun here. This is a little icon brochure. No problems. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight sheets of paper. Not a problem. So here we have some more roofing underlayment. This we're going to fold up in half again. This one does have a water barrier on it. So we got once, twice, three times, four times. We'll see if we can go five times for good measures. Got that folded over. We were able to cut through a bunch of roofing underlayment there. That's a lot. As long as it's within that quarter inch, has no problem tearing right through that. Clamshells, everybody hates these. Thankfully, it cuts right through the Warrior packaging as well as if you were to use these Doyle pliers. You're able to get right through that. Slice that open. Now you can get to the product that you want to play with a lot quicker and easier. Thanks, Warrior. Here's one that everybody gets to, the Amazon Prime packaging. Never been easier. So if you don't have anything like I do laying around the house, you can just order a bunch of stuff on Amazon and tear right into it. Makes life really easy. You can even order this on harborfreight.com if you wanted to. So here we have a sandal and you can see that again, this will only cut up to a quarter inch, but we can go ahead and see if we can slice right through some material. Having no issues with the warrior power scissors cutting through that sandal. Let's see if we can get through one of these smaller parts here. Now, it's got that guard. So if we wanted to go through some foam, I guess we can just tear this in half. And now we're able to cut right through it. So we'll get the rest of it here. So you can see we're running into the guard there. Have to pull it apart a little bit, but as long as you are at a quarter inch for thickness, you should be able to get through your material without any issues. So here we have a notebook. You can see it's cardboard on one side and pleather on the other side. 
and we have no issues going through that. So we'll go ahead and try to go the full length. There you go, we had no issues cutting right through that notebook. So all the notebook paper together is a quarter inch. We'll go ahead and see if we can get through that, which is the maximum. You can see, so that quarter inch truly is the maximum. And you can see that it was no match for the quarter inch thick piece of paper. Maybe you sold your Mustang and you don't need this three ring binder anymore. Go ahead and cut that up. Helps for easy recycling. Makes really, really quick work of paper. And that fits better and easier in the recycling. So it should hopefully go through this envelope here. Had no issues. Double them up. And now we will take it times four. And when you have multiple stacks of paper, you can see it does have a process where it tries to feed the material through as it's going. So you gotta be a little bit careful on that, but it is able to make it through that stacked up four times. So here we have a piece of rubber mat. This is about an eighth of an inch thick. I actually use this to line my toolbox and we'll see how this cuts through. It actually kind of feeds itself. It helps make a nice clean cut. I actually really do like that. I wish I would have had this. You can score that with a razor blade, but this is so much easier. And if you had a very long cut, that would be really handy. Nice, and that's a eighth of an inch. So we know if we were to stack that up times two, that would be a quarter inch. And a quarter inch, you can see, that's the maximum on there, and as it goes through, it binds up. So really, probably should say 3 16th of an inch is about the thickness that you want for max. Now it does have a little safety feature here. So you have to press down and then press the button here. If you were just to press the button, it doesn't work. You actually have to push down on the handle as well as the button in order to make that rotate. That is very sharp. It does have a self sharpening feature there. And I'm able to cut through everything. Oh, here we have a slap bracelet. My wife wanted to see what was inside that. Now that slap bracelet does have metal inside it, which is very, very similar to a tape measure. You can see that they actually tape the edges so that you wouldn't have any sharp ends and cut yourself. But we're able to cut right through that metal, which is really close to a tape measure. And then we're still able to get through our rubber material, as well as if we were to pull out some paper, you can see that we're still able to cut right through that. We've cut a lot of things and this is on a rechargeable battery. So at the end of the day, if I was to do all of my cardboard recycling and other paper that I have in the house, I would still be able to use this, recharge it and be ready to go the next day. Here we have Scrub Bubble Bath Book Farmyard Splash. Well, this is the last time this chicken's gonna cluck. There we have a little horse. We used to have a pig over there. We got a duck, a sheep, a cow, and that's it, we'll just take that out right now. So that's taken care of. Ah, uh, here's some more clamshell. No issues there. Oh, uh, we have a nail file. No problem with that. Maybe that even sharpened up the blade a little bit. Here we have some more toolbox liner. Now we're gonna see if we can make a nice straight cut on this. I don't have a line drawn, but we'll see what we can do here freehanded. It just is so easy and effortlessly. It kind of pulls itself along the way. And I would say that that's pretty straight. Definitely would have to put like a straight edge if you were to use a razor blade on that, but this, that was really handy. If I was cutting toolbox liner, I would be using something like that. Here we have a cardboard box. This looks like this came from a Tecton half inch drive ratchet. So we went ahead and just folded that over. See, we can go right through cardboard, no problems. And it does kind of feed itself. Other times I'm pushing it. So here is me pushing. And here is it self-feeding. Either way, no issues. And here we have a three ring binder. We'll go ahead and see if we can cut through a three ring binder. That's just cardboard and vinyl.
nice straight cut. Had no issues going through a three ring binder. Again, it shouldn't, it's just cardboard and plastic. No problems there. Got another cardboard box. No issues going through a cardboard box. You know, all the paperwork in here that I never ever use. You know what, we should recycle that. Not a problem. And you know, after cutting through all that, sometimes material can be an actual issue. Here we have a microfiber cloth. We'll see how it cuts through that. So we're still able to cut through that microfiber cloth. Still pretty sharp. You just have to make sure that you are pulling the material. And we're able to go right through a microfiber cloth. Last but not least, you know, we got a ruler here. That's about a eighth of an inch. You can see that a hard material like that, if you push too hard, it'll bind up. Let's see if we can just kind of bite into it. We're still able to chew through that after a little bit of work. We'll try one more time. Now it doesn't say it's supposed to be able to cut through wood, but essentially if you pack up enough cardboard, it's gonna be just like fibers that come from wood. So you can see that the Warrior from Harbor Freight when it comes to looking at their power scissors is pretty awesome. Cuts through everything that we had today. And hopefully I don't have some kids that are sad about losing their Frozen DVD. But I had fun, hope you guys did too. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like this video, go ahead and give it two thumbs down. If you have any thoughts about the Warrior Power Scissors from Harbor Freight, go ahead and leave a comment. Maybe what would this be useful for you when it comes to using this item? Really appreciate you guys all tuning in. If you're not already a subscriber, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And as always guys, work smarter, not harder. And we'll catch you in the next video. Just a friendly reminder, go ahead and hit that subscribe button.